Okay guys, I've got my average velocity. I do need one more piece of data and that is the ballistic coefficient, the BC. Now if you're reloading, it's that information is going to be in your reloading manual next to each bullet. You know, it has the um, information for each load. You'll find the BC in there. If you're reloading from a manual that doesn't happen to have the BC for some reason, or if you're shooting factory ammo and you know what the bullet being used is, but you don't know the BC, you just have to dig around a little bit online and you should be able to find it. So in this case, um, I went to Nosler's website it did not have the BC for that particular bullet that I was using. They just they only list a few online. So um, you know, in this case, Google is your friend. I just typed in Nosler 60 grain ballistic tip BC, and right there, the first uh, hit, the first thing that comes up is from Midway's site, and you can just look right there. There's your ballistic coefficient, 0 0.270, and that is the actual BC. I checked it in my reloading manual. So. What I, you know, one way to do this, and what I like to do is because, you know, it's, it's a source that I, that I trust, it's Hornady. Just go to Hornady's main website, hornady.com. Um, go into Ballistics Resource. You just put your mouse over there and just drop down to the Ballistics Calculator. And then it takes you to, oh, it's new and improved. Here, here's their calculator. Um, you know there are smartphone apps that that can do this. Um, that's you know that you're that's perfectly fine. You can do that as well. Um, there's some free apps out there, and there's some paid apps that give you a little bit more data. But um, I'll just keep it simple, and I'll do the Hornady for today. So you just go down here. You can choose your units, standard or metric. We'll stick with standard since that's what I'm more familiar with. Um, there's a basic chart that you can print out and a more advanced chart that allows you to put in wind angle and wind speed pressure all those things um, it's probably going to be more accurate if you have as much of this information as possible but uh, just for the sake of simplicity we'll go to the basic format and we, I'll type in my description 0.223 rem we know our ballistic coefficient uh, is 0 0.270. We know our velocity for our rifle is 2893 feet per second. We know the bullet weighs 60 grains. And here is where you decide how far out you want to make the chart for. Now, um, the range that I go to, there are targets out to 600 yards, but you're Welcome. It, it, see, it shows you here. You can go all the way up to 2,000 yards if you want. If you're shooting something like a, a 338 Lapua or something like that, 50 BMG. Anyways, I'll just stick to 600 because that's all that my range goes out to. Um, you can choose the interval um, every 100 yards for a data point, 50, 150, whatever you want. I think I'll just make it for a um, hundred yards so the uh, chart doesn't get too cluttered. And here's where you decide what your zero in range is going to be. I usually zero my rifles at a hundred yards since I don't hunt. Some of you guys that hunt like to zero the rifles at 200. Uh, whatever you want. You can plug in whatever you want and it'll do the do the math for you. I'll stick with a hundred. The sight height, 1.5 inches is kind of like the standard. So I'm just going to leave that, and let's go ahead and, and see what it does. Okay, so here is a custom-made chart for my rifle with that load, and let's take a look and, and see what's going on here. Okay, so here's all our information. This is the stuff that we inputted. Um, if you chose the advanced functions, you could you could put in some of this stuff yourself. But anyways, at 100 yards, the velocity is dropped down to. 2,555 feet per second and it's nice it also gives you the um, energy in foot-pounds and we zeroed at 100 so that's that's correct and now you can see the um, you can see the drop per every hundred yards at 200 yards it drops about four inches 14.7 at 300 and so on and so forth and this is also nice because it tells you exactly what to dial in on your scope if you have 
a scope that's uh, calibrated in MOAs. You can just dial in 1.8, uh, you know, probably just dial in 2, 4.7, and instead of guessing with uh, holding over and Kentucky windage, you can dial it in precisely and, uh, you know, you should be right on target, theoretically. If you have a mil dot scope, no problem. It gives you the come up in mils as well. So it's very nice. Now, here's the, the nice part. You can view it as a, a condensed form. Let's see the cheat sheet. You know, nice and simple, no clutter. And what you can also do is print it out. Show you what that looks like. And it prints this um, nice little chart for you. You can print the cheat sheet or the full thing. If you want, you can laminate it, stick it to the, the buttstock of your rifle, or just print it out and keep it right there next to you at the range. So yeah, um, with all the stuff that's out there, the free apps and the um, website calculators, um, if, as long as you have a, a chronograph, there's no reason for you to have to guess and uh, try to hold over, especially if you're hunting and you need a precise, ethical, clean shot. Uh, you know, this will really help you out. Anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. For you guys that are into the um, precision, um, this is a good starting, good starting point. Uh, like I said before, there is more uh, advanced, accurate software out there, but it's not free. So I just wanted to show you some uh, ideas on generating um, a custom-made drop chart, drop chart, sorry, for your load out of your particular rifle without spending a basically spending a penny. Let me know what you think. I hope this was helpful, and uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys soon.